pure black cherry juice. It's the end of it, end of the bottle there. And I got this, uh, this is a Dr. Ali left this. This is some wild Alaskan wild blueberry kind of thingy, you know, boosting thing. He's on one or two. I don't know when she's going to be back here again. She's going to be really mad at me. There's a little dash of that in there. Why? Because this is her stuff. She's left in the refrigerator. Hey, but if it's in the refrigerator, even if somebody... Okay, no mind. Okay. So I put that in there. I shake it up. Now, since it's the end of the bottle, <laughs> it's my juice anyway. I know I'm supposed to be civilized. Drink it out of the, you know, the glass. I ain't got a glass in there. But, you know, I got to revisit. I'm a man. I'm a man's, I'm a mensch. We're in New York, I can say that. I'm a man's man. Means I got to do the rough man thing. Drink out of the bottle. Ooh, rather sweet. Mm. Well, lucky I didn't do this when I went to, um, uh, the VA yesterday because I take blood tests, you know, one of the things, you know, because I'm borderline diabetic, which is a little bit of that whole kind of thing, you know, so I got to keep on monitoring that, you know, the VA, they want, they're on it now. <laughs> well, I went in there, they had the people had the mask and everything like that. Very interesting. Um, but you know, they was asking, are you coughing? Do you have that? I said, no, nah, I'm cool. So here's the thing. When I go there, right, there's this sister, right, she's from the Caribbean or something like that. And she always was just, just the, the phlebotomist, right? She's always got the religious thing going on on her phone, you know, to hear the, the songs, you know, whatever have you. Sometimes you have a preacher. And so, so I go there. She, 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 I think she sees so many people. I don't know if she has a recollection of me or whatever have you. But I certainly know her. I know what, she, what her thing is, right? So a guy came by, you know, cleaning, cleaning thing. A brother came by cleaning thing. So there was like two trash bins, you know, trash cans. And so when he got whatever, and there was another one, the other side of the thing, she was doing something, getting all the paperwork or doing something else, you know, some paperwork there. So when he finished with that bin, I just took this one over here and I put it over there for him, you know. To, and so he took that bin and I took the other one I put over there. And so when he left, he said, thank you, brother. I said, hey, I'm here to serve, you know. Oh, Lord, why did I do that? <laughs> so her first thing to me, then she looks at me, she stares at me. You know, trying to give me that stare down thing. So I'm trying to figure out, hey, what's going on here? I got a little uh, hair there. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. You know, so I stared her right back. And here's the thing. I don't really look at people. When I say I don't, I don't look at people, I try not to stare at people. Why? Because when I was a very little kid, what would happen? I would look at people, and I would look at them, and I'd be looking through it. I'd be, like, analyzing them. There's no judgment in my eyes. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. And to a person, they would say, this kid, stop looking at me. Don't stare. Don't stop looking at me. They, 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 they. So I got in the habit, you know, of really not looking at people. This is like really like, then when I got older, when, you know, when you got to shake somebody's hand or whatever, you got to do that thing when you're toasting, something like that. But usually I don't even look at people because I'm more, more audio person, you know, so I li I be listening to people. Okay. So, so I look at it right back. And Jesus says, what do you mean by sir? What do you mean by sir? I'm just going to, I'll make it short, right? And I'm, I was going to say, well, say, well, uh, you know, um, I was, I was, I was raised to serve. You know, put a, in fact, I'm at my fraternity brother. We were raised in, in, in the New York City Mission Society Cadet Corps. Believe me, it was like a training program, get the kids out of private. But then you're basically, you are trained to serve. That's all I can say. And all my life, I've served. So then she went into something. I said, well, maybe I misspoke. What I mean, serve, I mean, I serve, you know, mankind, whatever. And she tried to go, she didn't say Jesus, but she tried to get to that thing, right? So I said, so I said well, look, maybe I misspoke. Here's the thing, you know, uh, what, 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 I, what happens with me, right? Um, I believe that everything you need, you have, it, have it in you. And when, when, when I'm talking, when, when I'm, I'm, I'm having a conversation with somebody like that, or somebody, or somebody's teaching me. They're not actually teaching me. I, I, I depend on people and, and or different experiences to basically touch me in such a way that they release my magnificence. She claimed that she didn't understand what I said. I said, "Well, that's what I said. I release my magnificence." Then she said something else, but blah 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 blah. 
And uh, and then she said something to you, understand me? I said, oh, I understood you very well. And said, well, this, but she tried to get me some conversation. And I said, well, you said what you said. You know, I, I, I'm neutral on that. And she said, what you say? She went to this whole thing. But what I was doing in my back of my mind, I was doing the Neely Fuller Jr. thing. Neely Fuller says, basically, if somebody says something like that, but I got to say something. You say, well, they said what they said. That's fine. You said what you said. Yeah, I have no comment on what you, you said what you said. You see, I bring up Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. because we really got to have, you know, he, we at ADOS, we really got to have some, um, some, some coded discipline. Now, I'm not criticizing. Don't everybody jump on me or whatever have you, right? But here's the thing. Um, I think, uh, I mean, what, I think what should happen is that you really have to don't engage with these folks, right? People that keep on, I said this before, keep on sniping at you because we know what the deal is. You, I walk the streets of New York and I know what the deal is. I mean, you know, I'm walking over here. This is a, 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 a they're building a big something on uh, where that statue of, of Harriet Tubman is on, on uh, what's that, Frederick Douglass Boulevard, wherever, with the morning sign, whatever, wherever that, that it's a little peninsula kind of thing. There's a thing called 300 West. They're building some really big thing. All the, you can hear all the construction workers. They all, well, you know, the workers, workers, they're all Latino. You know, so you know, you know you're being replaced, right? Again, I'm not jumping down on people, not doing, not doing a xenophobic thing. I'm just saying that's just the normal way of things, you know? And so as we get marginalized, if you don't see right now that everything, you know, we're, we're being dumped upon, we're being we're marginalized, jobs are not going to us, we don't have the cabal to, 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 to get, you know, basically you get a job because you know somebody, you know somebody, okay, look, my cousin can do this, blah, 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 and we come from it and we learn this, blah, blah, whatever the, the deal is, right? So... Uh, where, where, oh, let me get another thing because I, I when I, I have to walk on the west side when I when I get here, um, and, and this morning I went to um, actually I had to meet my brother because um, you know talk about he's anyway, I had to be, the Chase Manhattan Bank then did a did a job on who was getting his social security whatever because he's homeless you know what I mean? and then they did a job on him they kicked him out whatever happened so I had to go with him we had to open a new uh, account at Carver uh, Carver Savings which is like a black so called black owned bank I don't know what it is but anyway. So we was there early in the morning, 8.30. But in my walking over there, you know, I realized I walked through Morningside Park and they had this thing, a sort of sign that basically said um, uh, Morningside Park, something like a, the Morningside Hospital. They're going to build, build a new hospital up at Columbia University, you know? Now, when you think about that, well, this thing's a little skewed. Let me, let me straighten up this camera just a little bit. Sorry. Okay. Um, so you realize that, remember when they started cloning us, it was a side in hand, they started cloning down all these hospitals. Well, now they're making new hospitals, open it up. But, you know, we are being, you know, we're not no longer going to be in these neighborhoods and they'll have a new hospital with for the new people of the neighborhood and uh, the ADOS kind of folk. They, out, 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 out. Let me get back to the point. So all I'm saying is that if you don't believe that we're being, you know, replaced <laughs> well it's in front of your eyes you can see it you know and 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 like with my brother you know what i mean like when they say he's homeless it's, it's kind of yeah he's uh, do some interviews with my brother and then you'll you'll understand in fact i got i just left him at the social security office gotta run here do this then i gotta run back you know because he's got to go downtown and get some medicine I mean, he can hardly walk he's got the the the, the, the that's the, whatever that for the asthma people right there, and you know you can get addicted to that stuff <laughs> Every few steps, I mean, it's, it's like terrible. You know what I mean? Anyway, the point is this, right? We, what we, they have their cabals. If you want to call ADOS a cabal, we really got to fortify our cabal and actually just ignore these people. They do what they do. They say what they say. We got to do what we do. Say what we say. And just, I'm, I'm trying to say, um, uh, um, to. To try to, I guess, I guess some people have to do that. You know what I mean? They have to engage and and, and beat beat folks down. But me, I, I think it's I, I can do some other stuff. You know, and, and so can you. This is just a message from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed. From a, 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 oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. I got my thing off. For a, a B O S. Oh, that that's her Washington, by the way. I have Washington, but an A D O S reality. Letting you know what I only suspect from this reality. <laughs>